What is going on, Luna Classic community? Let's talk price action first. Normally, we kick it off. We kind of leave that for the middle. Today, we're going to talk price action because I know some of you are concerned because you see the price kind of slipping a little bit. And listen, the reason for that is kind of simple. Number one, everybody expected October to be one of those magical, explosive sort of things. That means that you were set up by... Everybody who's been here before thinking that, you know, automatically October means we're just going to go up. And generally speaking, that probably is the case. Bitcoin moves very quickly. Crypto moves very quickly. So we could see just a phenomenal return on our October investments. Also, November investments. But for right now, going into this month, I told you guys, I warned you guys, I warned everybody who would listen that it was my opinion that this market was about to come down and probably come down hard. Now, one of the important pieces that's in here is yesterday the uh, the SEC filed an appeal of the XRP ruling. Now, they didn't file an appeal over the entirety of the ruling. They were very specific in what they did. What they did was they appealed the ruling of the $125 million penalty, and they would like that to be reviewed by the appeals court. That's all they've done. Now, that has spooked the market a little bit. In addition, uh, we've got bombs flying between Iran and Israel. So uh, there's a, a few calls right now for some nervous sentiment in all of these markets. Now, that doesn't mean that you're in a bad position. It doesn't mean that you're in bad shape. It doesn't mean anything bad long term. But short term, it means for uh, a little bit of concern and a little uh, less risk-based investment. That's what's happening right now. So let's look at the chart and I'll take you through it so that you're a little more comfortable. First of all, if you look at where we are right now, and guys, I drew this out. You know you follow me every day. I drew this out a long time ago, and guess what? We had a, a healthy bounce off of this support line at 8,000, and it looks like a reversal is underway. Will that reversal continue? Well, that's going to be dependent on the market because let me also point out a few different things here on this chart. Primarily, uh, and we're going to take, uh, for brevity's sake, we're going to take this candle right here and we're just going to kind of move up here and you can see here that we were really kind of in that uh, range right there but broke down below it so we were having a significant sort of rally and had what happened out here broadly in the markets not happened then we would be continuing on with that move most likely there's no guarantee of it but let's also remove that and let's look at another piece, right? Let's talk about where we settled for, for days after days after days and then do the same thing right there. And then all of a sudden you start to see that no matter the, the come down that we've just had, we have a trend line that is forming towards that upside. Now, what does that mean more broadly? Well, let's take one more step and let's look at what's happening right here. And you can see that we are, again, just kind of channeling a perfect trend line. Uh, so let's call that, if we will, an ascending channel. So we've got kind of an ascending parallel channel playing out here, uh, right there, and then right there. And it's playing out picture perfect. Now, what does that mean? Well. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit. You will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000. All right, folks, we're going for six months this time. 29.6 APY. Contract has been created. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start earning. We've had three touches on the top, three touches on the bottom. Uh, it, it, anything will happen one way or another at, at some point. You generally uh, range around in this, but... You know, I mean, how many times we're going to touch it? You can see here, like one, two, three, four, maybe five. Uh, same thing, one, two, and that kind of got tighter, but then it broke down. So bear in mind that there is op obviously a possibility that things will break down short term. The bull run, the the, the bull run is almost for for altcoins, uh, a big altcoin season. It's almost here. We're not we're not exactly there yet. There's still some uncertainty in the market, so and we have to deal with that until something happens. But what I would suspect that's going to happen next is if we zoom out here. Remember, we didn't actually touch the 382, that 11172. So 
that would mean that a retest and a pop above this is probably the next step right into this range right here. And then a test back here where we keep talking about it. Again, nothing has changed fundamentally about anything that I've told you. Uh, the, the dollar amounts, eh, they're up and down. They're, they're iffy at best. Sometimes I'm, I'm nailing it 100% perfect. Sometimes I'm just kind of close. But the structure of everything that we're talking about, nothing has changed fundamentally. So I would expect to see a move up here into this 382 and then a drop back down and then some consolidation. Ultimately, I'm looking at three zeros, 16299 to be the completion of that phase. Now, before we go any further with that, let's leave it at that and let's just say that I think that this move right here and then this cut down here is most likely what's going to play out coming up very, very soon, okay? And that's just gonna be some, some just, that's just gonna be some market movement uh, and some positivity happening. Uh, as a matter of fact, as we started talking here, the market was down about $27 billion. By the time I'm finished with this, five minutes later, we're at $16 billion. So it looks like the market might be in buy mode early this morning. Uh, let's get into some real news. And the real news of the day is Mr. Diamond Hands made a post on January, uh, on June 21, 2024, Lunk Live established a collaborative effort with Genuine Labs to help them communicate with the showcase of the community uh, after spending Proposal 12-122 for tax to gas failed based on the approval of Proposal 12-120. Um, Genuine Labs went back to the drawing board, worked on suggestions raised. Now, this is something that we talked about with Strathcole yesterday in that, you know, there's no con there's no communication with Genuine Labs. Um, and, you know, it appears at this point that Lunk Live's uh, really kind of done with it. So let me, I'm going to move down here. We are firm believers of transparency. We'll do everything in our power to show support and look for alternatives for improving. Uh, therefore, effective today, October 3rd, 2024, Lunk Live discontinues all support and brings to an end any active collaboration with Genuine Labs and its affiliates. Uh, we wish them the best of luck on their future endeavors and we'll be forever thankful for the opportunity. So uh, we've seen that frustration has mounted uh, in the context of uh, Mr. Diamond Hands is out here speaking for Genuine Labs and Genuine Labs has been hesitant to respond, has been busy, too busy to respond. They should know at this point that communication is a necessity and they're not doing it. So um, he's pulling his support. Now look, I'm going to still be supportive of Genuine Labs because I don't know what they are doing and I don't guide myself in this context based on whether or not somebody tells me what I need to know uh, constantly. That to, to me, that's for paper hands. Uh, if I trust a process, and so far we have no reason not to trust Genuine Labs. And by the way, when I say that, let's be very clear here. Genuine Labs has not been paid for anything. So this tax to gas they've been doing for free. And it is very possible that they are struggling to get it working the way that they need to get it. Work. There's plenty of underlying elements here that they might be trying to fix as they're working with it. And they just don't have time or don't have the resources to dedicate time to doing it. And you might say to yourself, well, you could take a moment to come to Twitter and, and do that. Why? If it doesn't work, they need to make it work. And telling you, well, it doesn't work right now. That doesn't do anything. That just gives investors reasons to buy and sell and move the markets. That's silly. That that's that's swing trading BS. And you know we should be primarily we should be better than that. Now, if you don't know what's going on, it's fair enough. Listen, put up another proposal. Put up your own tax to gas and get it passed and then get paid. And then Genuine Labs, they're going to be standing on the corner like a baby eating a green onion. I mean, that's all I can say, but uh, they're the only people that are doing it. So now here's what we've got. Ultimately, Strathcole and Orbit Labs are now working on doing the same thing over here. Somebody's going to get finished. Somebody's going to get paid for this. Now, uh, it is Strathcole's belief that, that Genuine Labs should be paid 50% of the, the funds and that after the, it's completed, they should get the other 50% of their funds. And I think that that's a fair thing and that maybe a proposal should be put up. But if they're not communicating yet, they're trying to make something happen and let's see how it goes. If nothing happens, nothing had happened before. This was a, uh, th this is inevitable and will happen. We just, it's not happening right now. 
That's that's all, basically. Orbit Labs will take over. Strathco will take over. They will fix it. They will find what's wrong. They will fix it, and they will put their own proposal together, and they will make it work. Okay, so we are on the path right now to tax to gas. It doesn't really matter what Genuine Labs does. We hope that they do it. We hope that there's some communication, but if there's not, we're good. So let's move on. No new proposals up on Commonwealth uh, for meme coins. Meme coins taking a hit today. Uh, you go down, you can go down this list, and you can really just kind of see here. Uh, Cat with hat down a little bit today. Boys down a little bit today. Food down a little bit today. Juris up a little bit today. You can see that Juris seems to be on the move. Uh, look, the Juris protocol is going to be a game changer. Just for you guys to understand, that is your lending protocol. That's the new anchor right now. So to have something like that out here in this ecosystem, I assure you, is going going to be beneficial to all. Um, also, uh, Jupiter uh, still uh, kind of pumping along, but still not as not as good as it was before. You know, some of these things are really, really, really starting that come down phase. Um, and again, I told you guys before, uh, I put a million Luna Classic into uh, Cat with Hat down here. Uh, and then I put uh, another million, I gave it to a friend because she needed it. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens there, but I'm sitting at eight million right now, plus what I got staked over on Commonwealth. Uh, but there's no proposals, by the way, that are up. Speaking of Commonwealth, so uh, or or speaking of station, sorry about that. Um, so there's no proposals up right now. Volume has dwindled about 53% in 24 hours, down 7% in market cap. Again, the broader market digesting news that's happening right now. Uh, volume on Terra Classic is down 71% uh, to 25 million, and uh, market cap is down about 7 to 124. So, um, uh, and, and, and by the way, again, there's no reason, there's no rhyme, there's no, no, no anything for it. So it, it's okay if, if something like this happens, if we don't have like this, this, this really crazy, uh, whatever kind of move, right? So it, it's fine. Um, the market is just, now, uh, as far as burns go, uh, we now have 1.4 billion burns over the last couple of days. And why is that? Well, we had uh, the big burn, uh, 1.189 million from Binance on the 1st. And then yesterday, or today, if you will, we had another 227 million Luna Classic burning. I don't even know who did that, but that's a significant supply. I would assume that that's probably one of the Terraform wallets. We'll get clarity uh, a little bit later on. We've only had 10,000 USTC burn today, but um, there, there's still significant burns continuing to happen right here. Uh, and look, we, we continue to reduce the supply that only benefits the holders who are still holding on. Uh, also, if you haven't already, go check out Terra Casino. Fizzy penny slots are available for you right now. They're giving away 2 million euros uh, from the World Poker League in a collaborative effort through Halloween season, uh, you Halloweenies. Uh, and then um, you can do, remember, we've also done the 1.2 uh, million euro giveaways already been completed. That was done September 29th. So now um, these are the tokens that you can use. Plus there's more, uh, including, by the way, including, including XRP. Uh, I, I was kind of hesitant to tell you guys that, but XRP is now uh, in this cut right here. XRP, USDC, you can use Tron if you want to, um, the, the pneumatic, Litecoin, Doge. Uh, you can use Cat with Hat if you want to. Uh, and and by, by the way, I think that's part of the Barn Protocol. If you haven't paid attention now, uh, the, the Terra Classic, Terra Casino right now this month is burning Cat with Hat to to reduce their supply and thus pump their price. So, uh, and they'll be doing some, uh, I, I don't know if they're doing buyback and burn or whatever the case may be, but Guys, you need a little cat with hat right now. Uh, I'm telling you right. I'm telling you that this is going to be, I think, a banger uh, as it plays out. Also, if you're looking to trade cat with hat, if you're looking to trade Juris, if you're looking to trade any of these meme coins uh, or coins in any way, then come to terraport.finance. That is where it happens. If you need to, then go stake, go uh, buy yourself some Terra, start staking your Terra today. And if you decide otherwise, you can start yield farming. All you have to do is uh, create yourself a little pool over here with how much you have. Uh, and then you can start earning and look, Here's total value locked. Here's the total stake. There's your stake. And then you can find out, you know, what's trading the most. Go over here to uh, number one over here is Juris. So start staking over here on Earn. Go find Juris on this list and start staking your Juris. Or if you want to do liquid staking, you can do the same thing over here. And for the launch pad, remember something green is coming very soon.
All right, guys, that's the time for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, Juris Protocol, that's going to be your new anchor lending protocol. Cat with Hat, uh, we've got Terra Casino going to do burns on Cat with Hat. Uh, those are significant. Those are going to be uh, th those are going to be some very interesting days in the the, the days and weeks ahead. Um, and then uh, that's it, guys. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.